Dear Brett and Eddie, I'm making this video because there's a problem that needs to be addressed regarding the way that the viola and violas are treated in the Tuset community. But before I explain in full, I want to start by saying thank you for all the incredible work you've done in making classical music relatable and accessible for young musicians as well as ordinary people. I have watched almost every single video from your channel since I subscribed four years ago, and I have a ton of respect for what you have accomplished since then. The problem I need to address today is one you probably aren't aware of, or if you know about it, then you probably don't know the extent. Let's start with the early days of the channel. Tuset was just two music students goofing around, and people loved it. Of course, viola jokes are a part of any classical musician's life, and they naturally made their way into your videos. It was all harmless fun, and violists enjoy viola jokes as much as any other musician, so it wasn't a problem. At this point, your audience was mostly musicians that were your age or older. But as your audience grew, your content started to change so that it was more accessible to general audiences. You grew from just classical music comedy to fitting classical music into pop culture and attracting a wider audience. Viola jokes became a meme at this point, and since everyone saw you as just entertainers, this was perfectly fine. However, in the past year and a half or so, your content has shifted in a way that I and many other people think is for the better. It's become completely accessible to the average YouTube viewer, and as a result, your growth has been exponential. More and more people my age and in the surrounding generations have been getting excited about classical music, and that's awesome. You have also made more and more videos that are serious, or that prioritize teaching the Tuset community about classical music, along with entertaining them. Unfortunately, the attitude you project towards violas has not changed. It's become one of the core memes in the community, and, understandably, you've exploited it to its fullest comedic potential. From a violist perspective, we hoped that at some point you would take a moment to treat the viola seriously. And in some videos it seemed like you would do this, but then you turned around and backstabbed us. Like in the debate video when you brought up some legitimately good points about why the viola is worthwhile, and then acted like it disgusted you afterwards. <laughs> 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 or after you featured me playing viola in your playing with fans video, but then immediately said, You were a violinist at one point, weren't you? There's no way violas could shift that high. Unga punga. <laughs> <laughs> Every great violas touched the violin once. <laughs> Things like these are fine as isolated incidents, but they do build up over time. It's kind of like being that one friend in a group of friends that everyone picks on, and they don't mind being the butt of everyone's jokes all the time as long as those friends occasionally say that they really do belong. Basically, the problem is having this happen again and again without taking a moment to establish that the viol really is a legitimate instrument. By having more serious content but continuing to make fun of the viol, you give off the impression that you seriously think the viol is worthless. Of course, I understand that you probably don't actually think that, or at least I hope you don't. It's just that as your content becomes more and more accessible to a younger generation, it means that your audience becomes more and more impressionable. For many of your fans, your videos are the highlight of their week, and they see you as heroes. They will hang on to every word you say, and they might not understand that viola jokes are just jokes. They could see hating the viola as a way to fit in with the rest of the community. They might not understand that in order to make jokes about the viola, you have to appreciate it first. This is where it can start to become harmful. In youth orchestras and school orchestras, violas are often outnumbered by violins in crazy amounts. The viola is different, and being different is scary at a young age. In some cases, you might even get bullied for being different. It doesn't help that it's hard to make a good sound on the viola. It takes more skill. So, say you're the only violist in a youth orchestra. If you're constantly being put down, and it seems like you're not as good as everyone else, it would be enough to make you want to quit music. It's also tough for violinists who find their musical voice in the viola and realize they want to switch to viola. For me, this happened when I started taking music more seriously at age 15, and it was really scary to switch. There's a huge stigma around switching from violin to viola. It would be even worse if, because they are part of the Tusa community, they thought that switching to viola would make them lose respect or get bullied. If anything, young violists need more support than any other instrument. Beyond just young violists, violists in general are getting tired of it. Here's some comments from a post I saw in r slash viola last week. I love Tuset, but their constant slandering of violas is getting to me. Really hate their constant joking, especially since it feeds into the culture so much, especially with young people. I've talked to a lot of younger violinists that actually look down on viola slash violas at this point, and it's really upsetting. Yeah, I love them, but their viola jokes are corny and old. It's just a joke, lol. Well, this joke's apparent popularity certainly cannot be explained by its actual comedic value. I'm not sure if they're serious or not, but I think that they should clarify that they're not because apparently a portion of their audience is a bunch of brainless 10 year olds who will be influenced by them. They're sure as heck gonna bully their violas in their orchestra. Seeing the comment section on this post is what made me realize I needed to make a video about this subject. For a while I thought about these things, but I thought I was just making a mountain out of a molehill. 
But seeing that other people felt and thought the same way made me realize there's probably a lot of violists out there that just haven't been able to put their thoughts into words and put them somewhere. So what does this mean for two-set violin moving forward? I'm not saying that viola jokes need to be banned on your channel or in the subreddit. That would be a shame as I enjoy them as much as the next Ling Ling wannabe. I even feature them in the end screens of all my videos. What needs to happen is you should have a few videos where you really take the viola seriously, show people what it's capable of. One idea would be to make a top 10 best viola performances of all time, just like the ones you did about piano and violin. You could make some collaboration videos with violists and do charades or the Ling Ling workout. You could ask one of the violists from the Among Us Mendelssohn Octet video. Sarah Ferrandez or Drew Alexander Ford, aka That Viola Kid, are two violists with wide social media followings that would be perfect for this. You could even ask Ray Chen to get you in touch with Ami High Gross, the principal of the Berlin Philharmonic. Of course, I would be more than happy to do a collab with you, I just offer all these other violists first because they're professionals and I'm still in my first year at music school. I'm not saying that you have to start making a ton of viola videos all of a sudden, after all, you are a two-set violin. I'll take care of making great viola content on my channel. All I'm asking, on behalf of all the violists in the two-set community, is that once in a while you make a video that seriously shows the value of the viola and of violists. It also wouldn't hurt to once in a while say, respect for the viola game, just so that everyone remembers that even though viola is a meme in the community, it still belongs in that community. Lastly, I want to say thank you again. You and your channel has inspired me as a musician and as a person for the last four years, and it probably contributed to my decision to go into music. I probably wouldn't have started my own YouTube channel if I hadn't been featured in your Playing With Fans video back in November, and now YouTube has become a huge part of my life. You also created the character that's the namesake for my channel, Viola King. One day, I hope to have even a fraction of the influence that you have now, so I can continue spreading the viola and classical music to people around the world. I hope you see this, I hope you listen, and I sincerely wish you the best. Your fan, James.